Let this key orb represent a thousand views. This is what 10,000 views would look like. This is what 100,000 views would look like. And this is what 1 million views would look like. Datroditi makes 8 times that amount in a month. And then there is you, trying to grow your YouTube channel, uploading every day, spending countless hours behind your skin crafting the perfect video. And yet, you get in nowhere. You start telling yourself that the algorithm isn't fair, that it only pushes the big channels, that it's pure luck. But what if I told you, there's a formula for YouTube success, and that just like that routine, um, you can make it too. Welcome to a kind of specialist video going on here. They hate to see when I get salty, summoning like a, oh, a, a man-child whining as he, he doesn't need the rainbow every unit in first bear anyway. Is it wrong? I just got a boner. Stop crying like a baby, you know. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> tell me, wh what's gayer? Uh, sucking a dick or kissing a dude on the forehead? You tell me. So you know what that means? Is that, oh, right! Here comes the back four on the bear! No kind of battle video. Oh, do I need that. Nick, also known as Detroditi, started his YouTube journey in 2013, doing commentary walkthroughs of his favorite games. Hello, hello to any of the <laughs> two people who will be watching this. Uh, I decided to do a playthrough of Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 here. Um, it was clear at the time that he had no goal to live off YouTube. He was just a guy having fun and sharing it with other people on the internet. <laughs> oh, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Yo. Yo, how funny would that be, man? <laughs> Four years later, and he was at almost 20,000 subscribers. And three years later, at 300,000 subscribers. What happened during those three years? You might think that being one of the first to make videos about the popular mobile game Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle was the main reason for his rapid growth, but there's plenty of other YouTubers who started covering the game around the same time who didn't share his success. So what made that true DT stand out? Why did the algorithm push his videos instead of others? Even though it's true that nobody really knows exactly how the algorithm works, there's a specific formula on YouTube that never really changed. Do people click on your videos and do they watch it? You think about it, what does YouTube want? They want people to click and watch a video and click and watch a video. But you probably already knew that, didn't you? So what did Nick figure out at the time that the others didn't? For starters, Nick wasn't always the well that we know of today. He actually started his Dokkan journey as a free-to-play player and content creator, but he was smart. While the other content creators were mindlessly summoning on every banner that would come out, he would save his stones for the big banners, the banners that would generate the most amount of hype. He used his precious saved stones as levers to make videos that would stand out from the crowd. And those big amount of stones also meant that he was probably going to pull the new unit with dupes, meaning that he would be able to showcase the unit afterward. That, uh, Batamo. Ah, damn, Ultimate Gohan. Oh, oh, shit, yeah, <laughs> yeah, boy, let's go. This was a good head start for his YouTube career, enough for him to start earning money from it. Money that he would reinvest into more stones, meaning more content, and better thumbnails, meaning more views, which would eventually lead to more money. But nowadays, with private servers, being the first person to showcase a rainbow unit isn't as valuable as it once was. So how is the LR King making even more views now? The answer lies in his personality. Nick has a loyal fan base that watches him for him, not just for his content. People enjoy his energy, personality, and hot takes. Truth has many true fans who will watch anything he puts out because they like him. He uploads 5 to 6 videos a day and his thousands of true fans watch them all. So now you're probably asking yourself, okay that's cool but what can I do to grow my own YouTube channel? And the answer might sound corny or cliche, but it's actually to just be yourself. You see, Truth isn't trying to be someone he's not for the YouTube views or whatnot. It's just himself and people appreciate him for it. You'll be better off having a thousand people who watch you for you than a hundred thousand people who only watch you for your content. However, 
You also need to understand that YouTube is a competition. If you're getting views, it means someone else isn't. You need a thumbnail and title that stands out from the crowd. When someone logs into YouTube, they're bombarded with multiple videos to choose from. If your thumbnail doesn't look professional or eye-catching, you're not going to get any views. But how can I make better thumbnails, you may ask? Well, the answer is simple. You don't. Truth isn't making his own thumbnails. He's paying someone who already mastered that skill, that way he can fully put his focus on the content of the video itself. Slaybix and Devon are a perfect example of this strategy. They managed to grow their channels recently by making videos that stand out, then hooking viewers with their personalities. What's going on guys, it's your boy Dev back with another one he's talking about this. Today we're going to talk about the 5th year anniversary LR Vegito and Gogeta. To say the least, these two units both did quite well for the long event metas. Back then, that was special. Now, obviously, who really, I mean, cool, who really gives a fuck now? It's like, it's like, oh wow, they built up. Oh, I'm about to shit on them on how they look today. So of course, the 5th year anniversary LRs both are chilling in the red zone meta. and. Don't get it twisted, both these fuckers have a 200% leader skill. <laughs> yes, they do. I've got a board of Majin Buu Saga units and $20 to make a Dokkan Dream Team. Let's do it! I just turned on my game audio! We got power! Not getting copyright strike today! In conclusion, that truth's success story demonstrates that there's a formula for YouTube success. By being genuine, finding your niche, and creating eye-catching thumbnails, you can too achieve similar results. It won't be easy, and it will take time and effort. It might even be the hardest thing you'll ever do in your life, but with dedication and persistence, you can make it too. You have to let it come naturally, but I think the most, like, the big advice is to upload every day. To always make sure you're uploading. And like, a lot of people, like you're gonna upload every day and you're gonna get one view or zero views, four views. It's a process, you gotta build it up. There's been some like, you know, get rich quick, super success blow up stories. But for most people, like if you just don't give up, I think anyone could do this. It's just on if you're gonna give up on your dream quickly or you're just gonna keep going. I think that's basically what separates the people who have made it on YouTube from the ones that quit. Alright guys, so I just have a couple of things to say. First, I'm looking for a thumbnail guy. If you're good at making YouTube thumbnails, just DM me on Twitter at LegendaryProof. The link will be in the description. Second, I just wanted to give you my thoughts here at the end. Like, the whole video was centered about how Truth made it, like his success story. But I think that if you really want to make it on YouTube now, you need to take a different path. You need to make like evergreen, high quality content. Like good videos that could be seen at any point in time. Maybe I'm wrong, but if I'm right, and you want to become a YouTuber, I think you should start leveling up your YouTube skills like now before it's too late. Just find a niche you're interested in, it could be Dokkan Like Me or something completely different. Learn how to edit, learn how to make better thumbnails and just keep making each new video better than the last one. I'm confident that with this formula there's absolutely no way you can fail. Just don't give up. Giving up is like the worst thing you could do. This is going to sound corny but like Vegeta went super sane because he never gave up. He wasn't even sure it was possible for him to become a super sane but he kept grinding and at the end he did. He became way stronger than a super sane and this could be you. You may think now that getting like a thousand subscribers is like impossible but just keep working and one day you'll wake up to a million subs. Anyways, take care, stay strong, not ever give up. Peace.